Hey, I'm Joel Wanasek with Drum Forge, and today we are gonna take a deep dive into our brand new product, something that a ton of you have been asking us about since we released the snare in the Tom Arsenal, and that is the third part of the Arsenal series, which is the Kick Arsenal. If you're not familiar with the other ones, go check them out at drumforge.com. Let's talk about why it's such a special product. We're gonna hear it, we're gonna go through some of the rooms, and you're gonna see why this is the craziest, coolest, and most versatile uh, you know, collection of kick drums ever made in sampling, and there's there's nothing else like it on the market and you're gonna love it. Snare Arsenal and the Tom Arsenal are some of our best selling products. People absolutely love them. And my DM has just been destroyed over the last year with the Kick Arsenal requests. When's it coming out? Well, it's finally here. We really wanted to put some extra time into this one. Really, really try to nail it. So what is the Kick Arsenal? The Kick Arsenal is the ultimate collection of kick drums. To make the Kick Arsenal, what we did is we went to four different studios, right? And in each studio, we went around to different producers and, you know, drum techs and et cetera, and curated the best collection of kick drums that we could find that sounded incredible in those rooms. And we recorded them with all of these massive engineering setups. So you can basically feather in all these different types of tones and cover almost any genre that you can possibly conceive and get any sound out of it. But each room is totally unique to itself, has a totally different character, and it's even mixed to its best sonic attributes. All of these studios had fantastic gear collections. You know, it's very, very awesome. We had a really, really nerdy breakdown about this in the snare arsenal, if you really want to go down that level of nerd. Okay, carrying on. So we've got 16 kick drums we cut here in the wood room. We have the brick room, we did four, we did five in the vibe room, and we did 12 in the hybrid room. So in use, what the kick arsenal has is multi-sampled TCIs, right? This isn't done in a sampler because this isn't for programming drums. This is for mixing drums and replacing drums or augmenting drums in a mix. We have a one-shot folder, which you can see you can get one-shot versions or multi-sample versions. We're gonna go through here real quickly and let's just listen to the unique character of each room. I've got it up in a bit of a mix here and you're gonna be able to hear what these kick drums sound like. And I'm just gonna scroll through a couple different kick drum samples here. And then we'll go through and break down the rooms and talk about all the musical engineering setups and you know what makes them special and how easy and intuitive it is to use. All right, here we go, let's have a listen. As you can see, going through those real quickly, just getting a general vibe, there is an insane amount of different and tonal options and different types of attacks, and you can literally get any type of kick drum sound. Now, if I was going through these in a mix, I would start out, find the right room sound, right, for your mix and the right type of energy. I would go through then, find the right kick, then come over here and start sliding through these faders here to get the perfect combination of that kick for your mix to make it stand out and really, really come to life. So now we're gonna head over to the wood room and we're gonna take a look at how it sounds and break out all of these different fader positions and see what's cool about them. The wood room is a very nice long room. It's very lively. It's got a lot of great reflections in it and it's got a really, really cool ambience. Now, if we go and listen to these mics individually, let's take all these faders down. Um, you can see that they're labeled in musical terms. So we have in, pop, thump, spread, tight, length, depth. So I'm gonna shut up, hit play, and just raise and lower the fader so you can hear them. Here we go. So you can see you got some pretty serious tonal options here. So let's experiment and move these around. We have an N, which is a very direct sound.
the pop mic is basically the SSL pop gate trick where you take the gate of an SSL hardware E-series dynamics and you turn it into a pop. Check this out. <laughs> See how much realism that adds? We can basically go from metal to rock. In seconds. Now thump is pretty cool. This is gonna give you some bottom end. That beautiful punch, the way that resonates in your chest. If you're listening to this on a good subwoofer, you're gonna feel that. Okay, spread. This is gonna take all the kick drum out and make it super wide. Now what's cool is if I wanted to make this less metal, I can go like this. That's a totally different kick drum sound than something like this. kind of picture these as like different paint colors you know like do you want your kick drum to have more length to it and more bloom do you want your kick drum to have a little bit more spread do you want it to be more focused and attacky it's really really neat when you're mixing because this is very fast and intuitive and once you get used to it you know how to dial it in okay let's listen to tight that's like a really tight low mid width so check that out metal kick and we just made it sound clicky, but it's also got a little bit more depth to it, a little bit more ambience, a lot more realism. Okay, next up we got length. And that just gives it a nice long mono extension. Bring that up, bring the pop up. Got a really great alternative rock or indie kit that fast. We went from metal to that. So you can just see how these tonal options are really, really amazing as they play out across this. Okay, depth. So now we're fully capturing the entire wood room and all of its glory and just have that nice length. And what's cool about this ambience is it's going to give you a nice glue and a mix. You know, it's not too long where, um, you know, it's going to swallow up the next hit, but it definitely gives the kick space. When you start moving these around, you can really play with these textures to get different types of vibes and realism in your kick, and it just sounds incredible. So that's all of the tonal options you can get on one kick. Now, if I come back over here to the browser and I wanna change kick drums, we have a totally different sound. And we get to go through all these again. And you can see how we can just come up with endless combinations of cool things. Not only do you have so many different kicks in this room, but you have all of these different tonal textures and you can literally find the perfect kick for anything that you wanna do. Now there's something else really cool that I wanna show you that you can do that I'm a huge fan of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna load a sample, right? So let's listen to this kick. Now 
say you have a favorite one shot sample that you want to load, but you want to make that one shot a little bit more dynamic and a little bit interesting. So I'm going to go load a one shot sample. So now I've loaded one of my favorite drum shots here from uh, Joey Sturgis's Fire Edition. So let's take this kick drum. Say you want to take that amazing one shot and give it a little bit more realism and depth and some ambience. So we can start playing with these faders. sounds fantastic. Let's give it some length. Let's try some of the tight. Now we're taking this one shot from here. And we transformed it into this. cool about that is you have a one shot on your main attack, but now you have this round robin ambience around your kick that adds versatility to that and is going to add some extra dynamics to that that you can't get with a one shot. So this is really cool for that. Okay, let's blend in some of this pop here. Check this out. For fat, let's do the thump. And you can take that one shot in and layer it even quieter like that. You can take any of your favorite one shot samples, any drum from any other library that you want, and you can take the kick arsenal. And instead of just using the kick arsenal, you can wrap it around that drum sample and take it and create something totally fresh that nobody's ever heard before. You can come up with your own combination that's gonna sound super unique because I could take this kick direct and I could go across any of the other 30 plus kicks in the kick arsenal and get a totally different sound. And that allows you to get something that's really unique that's really gonna stand out. Okay, let's take a look at the brick room real quick. Next up, we've got the brick room. So the brick room isn't as long as the wood room. It's more, um, it's got a very much higher ceiling. Everything is covered in brick. It's got a very different character. So let's listen to this. And I just loaded up here, kick three. We've got a lot of different mic options. So we've got two different ends. Let's check this out and hear them first one. And the second mic. Out, Mike. Mass bottom. That body's got a different type of bottom to it. We got the thump. Spread. Super wide and bright. Splat. Totally different type of ambience than the spread and then the length. Very mono. So let's go play around with these faders and see what we can come up with. That is a fat kick. Let's add a little bit of length and splat to that. Massive. Let's play around with the body. See how the body sounds different than the out mic? Massive blooming sub versus a nice ambient uh, lower mid. Now let's try the thump. I love about this room is just all of the different low end textures that you can put in with the different microphone positions. You know, there's just so many different types of bottom end you can get with your kick drum, which is so important because again, if you're mixing, let's say a fast metal song and you've got double kick in there, finding the right type of bottom end for the song or being able to automate it up on the single hits and then bring it down and bring a different type of bottom end. You know, maybe you want some more body on a double kick. So it sounds a little bit more real, but then on the regular hits, you want to bring out some of the out mic to give it some sustain because you're doom, doom. So you can really get creative with your automation and get a kick drum sound that just sounds colossal. Okay, so let's bring up a little bit of this.
play around with the in and out. Now we have a totally different kick drum sound, and let's change it. something that sounds a little bit more indie rock. So you can see this room has no shortage of great tonal options. Uh, let's jam this up a little bit. And just those three faders are amazing. So let's take some different faders here and go create a different tone. it to what we just had. I'm going to mute these. And here's the other kick that we made. It's like two totally different kick drums, but it's the same tuning. It's the same room, but totally different characters. So you can see how absolutely versatile the brick room is. It has the most amount of different microphone and engineering setups. You have the ability to completely construct your bottom end. You've got a couple different ambient spread type options and some length, two different attacks. Very, very powerful. Okay, now let's head over to the vibe room. So now I've got the vibe room here in front of me. I love this room. This room is super punchy and aggressive. So we've got an in mic, a parallel compression mic, a thump, a spread, a tight, a length, and a depth. So let's hear them by themselves and take a listen. The aggressive attack. Now let's bring up the para. Hear how you can totally adjust the character of that attack. Okay, let's bring up the thump now and see what that sounds like. Massive bottom end, massive. Okay, we got a spread. And they're all in stereo width, so let's play around here with the faders, focusing on para, in, and spread. and tight. You can really hear the size of this room here. It's very, very tight, small, punchy studio, and it has so much energy contained in it. Okay, so that's what the spread sounds like. Now let's check out the tight fader. elongates you can hear how much compression that whole room is compressed and it just really elongates the room and brings out all the character in it so you can get a bigger sound if you want a tight kick or you want something a little longer Audio sounds like a different space with the amount of creative compression that's on that okay so let's now hear the length nice mono extension and you can hear that you know not the best by itself but if you blend that in so for example let's take the spread now we're going back into that more indie rock kind of kick sound big rock kick right there so that length is really powerful. Again, it's subtle, but it's super musical. Okay, let's take the spread down and hear the depth. This is just a massively compressed in the other room kind of microphone that makes it sound absolutely massive. So let's take this and play around with it and try to blend these faders and get some different sounds. Kick sound. Let's tweak this out with this. It's 
Sounds so massive, bring in some depth. The Vibe Room has all of the punch and aggression that you're gonna need to do a lot of modern stuff like active rock and things like that. This room really, really scorches and sounds great. Some of my favorite snares personally from the snare arsenal come from the Vibe Room and I use them in a lot of my mixes, Shh, don't tell anybody. All right, now let's move on to the Hybrid Room. The hybrid room also has a very distinct character. It's half wood, it's half concrete. It's got very high ceiling, some nice gobos. It's a very cool room, very lively. So let's take a look at the different faders. We got an in and an out. We have thump, length, tight, splat, and depth. Let's hear what some of these sound like. I'm gonna pull these faders down and come up with some kick sounds. Sounds like a direct. All right, let's bring out the out mic. That's got a very cool attack, which is different than the other one, but it also gives it a very good extension. So it mates really well with the in mic. Tons of bottom end, tons of extension, but it's a different type of attack sound. It sounds so massive, just that combination right there. Okay, next we have thump. hear it elongating the kick, really giving it that sub. So let's turn that up. So bad. Okay, we have length up next. You hear how that really creates a nice ambience. So like, let's play around with the in and out. Right there, it almost sounds like you got just two different kick drums. You know, it's very, very cool, different type of ambience. All right, let's go to the tight. You know, you a set of room mics that's tight and close, and it just kind of widens everything out. But again, it sounds different than the length. Totally different texture. Okay, next we have the splat. Absolutely sounds massive. Again, we'll play with the faders. That's a very different drum sound than, for example, like what we had going on with, say, this. how amazing the colors are. It's like you can literally come in and just forge whatever kind of sound you want to create and just really get drums that stand out, that sound different, that sound unique. And that to me is the essence of mixing. It's not doing what everybody else is doing and just loading up a sample because your favorite mixer uses it or whatever, but it's taking the time to really find and create a sound for you and your music that just helps it stand out, that's special, that's unique. Give something to somebody that they've never necessarily really heard before, but sounds like it's competitive. You know, that's what this is all about. Just really coming up with your own sound and your own sonic signature and something a little bit different. Okay, let's take a look at the depth. I love how punchy that ambience is. Listen. I'll compare that to say this. like a totally different kick drum. It's just crazy. So what can I say? I mean, the kick arsenal is literally the ultimate weapon in your mixing arsenal. That combined with the snare arsenal, the tom arsenal, there's nothing that's ever been made like this. It's super fast because I can sit here and just be like, hey,
just find a kick that I get inspired by right away. It is a total special collection of samples. I think it's something that you're gonna love artistically. It's amazing the flexibility, the creativity you have, the amount of different types of sonic pictures you have, the ability to take your favorite samples, drop them in and add something around it to enhance them, to bring it to life, to give it a new texture, a new type of ambience. It's very quick, it's very fast. You have one shots, you have multi samples. What can I say? It's the Kick Arsenal. If you want to hear the Kick Arsenal in its full glory and some various different mixes, we have a playlist on the website where you can check that out. So if you want to get the Kick Arsenal today, you head over to drumforge.com. Thank you so much for watching this nerdy deep dive on kick drums, and we'll see you next time. Happy mixing.